హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ మై సెల్ఫ్ డాక్టర్ మదినేష్ శ్రీనివాస్ సర్టిఫైడ్ డర్మటాలజిస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇండియా డిస్కసింగ్ డర్మా అండ్ రిలేటెడ్ టాపిక్స్ యాజ్ ఎంసీక్యూస్ ఆర్ యాజ్ ఫ్లాష్ కార్డ్స్ ఇన్ మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ న్యూ టు దిస్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ప్లీజ్ డూ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ సో దట్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ ది లేటెస్ట్ వీడియో అప్డేట్స్ యాజ్ నోటిఫికేషన్స్ ఇన్ యువర్ మొబైల్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ డే వీ ఆర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ ఎ గుడ్ థాట్ అండ్ టుడే ఇస్ గుడ్ థాట్ ఈస్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద ఐపీఎల్ సో ఎం ఎస్ ధోని డెఫినెట్లీ అగైన్ మేడ్ దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ వెరీ ట్రూ నెవర్ నెవర్ గివ్ అప్ సో వీ నెవర్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద స్టోర్ ఫర్ ఆస్ వెయిటింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ సో ఆల్వేస్ వీ షుడ్ కీప్ ఆన్ వర్కింగ్ యూ నో అవర్ గుడ్ వర్క్ హ్యాస్ టు కంటిన్యూ అవర్ స్మార్ట్ వర్క్ హ్యాస్ టు కంటిన్యూ సో దట్ అవర్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి సక్సెస్ఫుల్ and this is today's mcq uh, to be discussed so all are true about for this spots except uh, so if in case you have answered it as option d you are absolutely right okay so we'll see few points about the for this spots and also a few of the important details about sebaceous glands so basically sebaceous glands they are going to open just like apocrine glands into the hair follicle so this is the hair follicle and both these uh, as you can see apocrine as well as sebaceous glands have to open along with the hair follicle but there are certain sites uh, in which the sebaceous glands do not open along with the hair follicle but they are not associated with the hair follicles and one very important example for uh, that is definitely for this spots for this spots these are basically completely asymptomatic physiological physiological uh, uh, you know lesions which can be seen most commonly over the lips over the lips and you are, you are able to see over upper lips you are able to notice what you are able to notice tiny tiny yellow dots so these are these could be initially macular or papules uh, papular lesions so you are able to see yellow dots we can also see as pap- macules or papules and one very important thing is these are absolutely physiological patient will not have any symptoms so the patient will be asymptomatic so these are the ectopic sebaceous glands that is for the spots which are present over the lips not only uh, for the spots but also the sebaceous glands can be modified and ectopically they can be present without association of hair follicles or other areas also as you can see here we can see in the areola these montgomery tubercles montgomery tubercles and over the prepuce you can see these tyson's glands so all these are examples for ectopic sebaceous gland not only these in the eyes we have meibomian glands and these glands so all these are examples for ectopic sebaceous glands very very important so with this knowledge if you uh, observe the options yes for the spots are ectopic sebaceous glands right they are completely asymptomatic patient will not have any issue due to the you know uh, yellowish papules over the lips occurs commonly on the upper lip this statement is also right and yes the option d is a false statement is it, it is these are not associated with hair follicles so these are some of the other pictures and uh, this is tomorrow's mcq if you know the answer for this leave your answer in the comments below if your answer is right i will give your comment a heart and uh, to join all my telegram instagram and all the other grams links are there in the description so you can join that and if you want any topic specifically to be discussed by me related to dermatology or any uh, mcq to be discussed by me please leave it in the comment section or you can also post it in the telegram group and thank you so much for watching this video till this point do do like this video please give a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this and if you found it to be helpful and also do subscribe to my youtube channel so that you are going to get latest updates of the videos which i am going to post and do check out these previous videos for uh, explanation and uh, thank you so much for watching till this point This is Dr. Madhuri Shinwa signing off. Happy learning dermatology. Sarvajana Sukhino Bhavanti.